Hey, I'm Adam Thompson. I'm a consultant in strategy and organizational design. We've all been in situations where we've had to lead a project that perhaps we know that our team and maybe even ourselves isn't going to agree with. Well, here's an example from not real life that can show you exactly how to do it. Let's get right into it. As I've done before, I'm going to use Captain Tom Hanks as my example to go through, except instead of it being the captain on a ship, this time it's Captain John Miller, who's out there to save Private Ryan. This is from the 1998 film directed by Steven Spielberg, and the plot sets up like this. After landing at Normandy in D-Day, Captain John Miller is given the orders to go and save Matt Damon, Private Ryan, because his brothers have also been killed in the war, and America had a policy at the time that someone wouldn't lose all of their sons. So Captain Miller, Tom Hanks, selects a small squad from his group of soldiers to go and find Private Ryan. Now they're not too enthused about doing this mission because they feel like they should be fighting what they consider to be the real war and so now we're going to have some interesting scenes. So let's go through one of the pivotal earlier scenes and we'll see some of the examples that were beautifully brought forward in the script about how John Miller, Tom Hanks' character leads. In this first scene what we're going to see is Ryben questioning the mission. Now listen to some of the words that he says. You'll see that he's a bit well smart ass. He talks about the madness. He talks about where's the sense. Check it out. You want to explain the math of this to me? I mean where's the sense of risking the lives of the eight of us to save one guy? 20 degrees. Anybody want to answer that? Think about the poor bastard's mother. Notice that Captain Miller didn't immediately answer and he actually threw the question to the rest of the group. And one of the rest of the group who did provide the very short answer as to the reason, think about Private Ryan's mum. After this, the character who you'd call the intellectual in the group quotes that classic Tennyson poem. There's not to reason why, there's but to do and die. And that takes us into our next scene. Check this out. We're all supposed to die, is that it? Upland's talking about our duty as soldiers. Yes, sir. We all have orders and we have to follow them. That supersedes everything, including your mothers. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Even if you think the mission's foobar, sir? Especially if you think the mission's foobar. Did you see that key line in there? especially if it's FUBAR. I'll let you figure out what FUBAR means if you don't already know, not for me to say here on the video. What Captain Miller did then is he brought in the idea of a sense of duty and he brought in the idea that the more that the mission or what the work is might seem to be not something the group wants to do, the more the sense of duty is required to actually overcome that. Now in your workplace, the sense of duty might not be as strong as in the military, but we've still got the fact that we are paid by the organization. So there is a sense of duty in some sort of description. And a lot of people still can be switched on by the idea of doing something better for the wider organization. Now in this next scene, what we're going to see is Private Ryben really revving up. He's gonna be putting in his final challenge. Check it out. Hey, so Captain, what about you? I mean, you don't gripe at all? I don't gripe to you, Ryben. I'm a captain. He's a chain of command. Gripes go up, not down, always up. You gripe to me, I gripe to my superior officer, so on, so on, so on. I don't gripe to you. I don't gripe in front of you. You should know that as a ranger. Now that's the military chain of command works, but we've still got the general principle of if you are in a leadership role, to actually be going against the mission in front of your people is not going to inspire anyone to want to actually do it. So what Captain Miller laid out there was a clear reminder about exactly how the system works. But Robin's a smart guy, so listen to his question, very cunning one, and now listen to the brilliant response from Captain Miller. I'm sorry, sir, but uh, let's say you weren't a captain, or maybe I was a major. What would you say then? Well, in that case, I say this is an excellent mission, sir, with an extremely valuable objective, sir. Worthy of my best efforts, sir. Moreover, I feel heartfelt sorrow for the mother of Private James Ryan. I'm willing to lay down my life and the lives of my men, especially you, Ryden, to ease her suffering. Do you see what he did there? It actually comes down to wisdom, the ability to actually see what needs to be done in a certain situation. But what he did is he used humor to make it clear that he knows that the mission is a bit rubbish. At the same time, he also made it clear that he intends to carry it out and the expectations he has of his people. And by doing it in a way that brought in a bit of humor, he managed to maintain connection, not just to Ryben, but importantly, to all the others who were more supportive of the mission. So let's just quickly summarize what Captain Miller did there. He didn't react to the issues and he opened it up to the team. He brought up the idea of a sense of duty, a sense of this is how the show works and we need to get things done. But most of all, he used humor to communicate the idea of, guys, I know that this mission isn't great, but at the same time also making it clear that he intends to carry it out and he also expects his people to carry it out well. Thus, he was clear on his expectations while also maintaining connection to the people, which of course caused this little reaction from Vin Diesel at the end. He's good. I love him. 
That's all for now. These are the sort of ideas that I help leaders with in groups and in coaching sessions. If you'd like to contact me to learn more about how to do this practically, usual socials work. Otherwise, you can sign up to my blog, zenorganizations.com, which gives you an article that goes along with this, as well as each video to your inbox each week. I'll see you next time.